I've always had a passion for being around and learning about animals. When I was younger, going to zoos and animal parks was always a part of my life. I wanted to share my passion with family and friends, so I started working with people that loved animals as much as I did, and my YouTube channel was born. Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Justin at the St. Louis Zoo. Hello. Hey guys, how you doing? So, what can you tell me about the Herpetarium? So, the Herpetarium is one of the older reptile facilities in the United States. It was built in 1927. Um, when it was first constructed, there were a couple other components of it too. There was a commissary in the basement where uh, dyes were prepared for the rest of the zoo, and also they used it as storage for different props and novelties for the surrounding zoo. Over the years though, the herpetology department has kind of taken over the entire building, which is great. So not only do we have the exhibit space upstairs, but we also have the basement where we do a lot of off exhibit breeding and research uh, activities with our collection. So how long has it been open? It's been open since 1927, yeah. There, were, there have been a couple times where it's been closed for a few days, you know, for renovations. For example, in the 70s, it was closed for a bit to put in the wing section, which is where the tortoises are and the, the false carryall that's messed them up. Um, and then the section, the standalone units of exhibits were put in at that point too, but for the most part, it's been since 1927. How long have you been working here? I've been here for going on 11 years, and I've had a lot of different roles in the herpetology department. Um, I started off as an intern. You know, as soon as I turned 18, I started interning here. It's a great way to get your foot in the door in this field. Um, while I was in college, I did that for a bit, and then I eventually got a part-time position in this building. So I was working part-time, and then once I graduated from college, I was able to get a full-time spot. But I've, I've been here in one way uh, since uh, for 11 years. And how have you enjoyed your experience here? It's awesome. It's it's a fantastic facility to work for. The collection is amazing. The animals are great. Um, very knowledgeable staff that I get to share the building with and the work responsibilities. Um, the animals are amazing. You know, I, I've got one of the best jobs in the world. You know, there, there's not a day that I don't come to work and learn something new or get excited about something completely different. You know, it's, it's awesome. So, I feel like I don't work a day in my life. So, what are some of your favorite animals here? I, I have a lot of different species that I really, really like, and then I have some individual ones. So, uh, species-wise, I really like Armenian vipers. Um, I really like Ethiopian mountain adders, which is a big green fat snake, very uncommon in captivity. Um, they're from Ethiopia, as the name implies, and we have a nice size group of those. Those are really cool. Um, Mangshin vipers, I really like. That's a big species of viper from China. Um, the other species of, I, I really like pit vipers, so, you know, a lot of the pit viper species we have here I really enjoy. Uh, we have some different branids, some monitor lizards here, those are really cool. And then as far as like individual animals that I really like, we have some of our crocs that are, you know, very, they have their own personalities and that's cool with reptiles because, you know, you know, having a, a reptile that actually interacts with you and knows its name, that's cool. So we have uh, Temistema or false gharial, those are really neat animals. Uh, some of our giant tortoises are really cool too. They love to come up and get get rubbed on and whatnot. So, yeah, lot, lots of variety here. It's 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 uh, yeah, a lot, lot of different species. It's hard to say. How often do you change the enclosures for the animals? So as far as the exhibits, yes. so we typically we have some species that we always have on exhibit because you know when the public comes to zoo, they want to see a king cobra, they want to see a big rattlesnake, so an eastern diamondback, um, they want to see the giant tortoises. So those animals are constantly on exhibit. And then some other species, you know, we'll put on exhibit for maybe a year or two, and then we'll put something different on depending on the needs of the animal and, you know, how they're doing on the zoo. Some species, if you set them up in a big naturalistic enclosure on exhibit, uh, they'll reproduce really re on a regular basis, you know, each season. So we'll do that with some. And other species, they do a little better if they're kept off exhibit where it's a little quieter. So that's a lot of times when you come and you see new exhibits, a lot of times it's got something to do with that. That or we'll get a new animal in that you know we know the public will really like. It's something different, unique. We'll throw that on exhibit and you know, spice it up a little bit for our visitors. Are animals in the herpetarium part of the SSB? We have so we work with the AZA and the uh, all the different herp tags to work for the different stud books and whatnot to make sure we have lots of different projects going and maintaining the genetics of these animals in captivity. Um, so we work with. I don't know off the top of my head, but we have quite a few SSP programs going on in our department right now. Yeah, we have the Catalina, Allen Rattlesnake, King Cobra, uh, Armenian Viper, Mangshin Vipers, Bushmasters, Temistema, uh, different, lots of different turtle species, of course box turtles, spotted turtles, Egyptian tortoises, spider tortoises. We, we, we do a little with everything as far as the, SS, the species survival plans.
Well, thank you so much for chatting about the Herpetarium. Of course. And uh, if any of you at home ever want to come check out the zoo's herpetology department, come to the Herpetarium. We've got a lot of really amazing animals on exhibit for you guys to see. It's one of my favorite zoos. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great place. It's, it's awesome. a great collection, for sure. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Culture. And as always, I'll see you next week.